Hey Super Doodlers, how are you doing? Well today I've launched a new channel called the Storytime channel and my first story is all about Dark Claw here who is the most evil cat in the universe spelt with a K of course and uh, the whole story is this kind of Star Wars inspired story of cats versus mice well this one evil cat versus all the mice which I call Mus and Mus covers everything from mice to hamsters and chinchillas and anything kind of rodent like really. Now while I was dreaming up all the characters I wasn't really sure how to draw some of them particularly Dark Claw. This image here I just drew just like that but knowing how to turn him and draw him from different angles I found really difficult so what I did was I made a model and this is the first little model that I made and it's just designed so that uh, I can just turn it around and get, get the feel for what he looks like uh, in different angles and then uh, and then I made this model um, again so then I can turn it to different angles and particularly these kind of lightning flashes I found really difficult and it's kind of working out how to kind of squeeze them down to get them sort of around the corner if that makes any sense. Dark Claw has a spaceship that he lives on uh, which of course is kind of inspired by the Death Star but, <laughs> but I gave it ears. <laughs> uh, this is called Dark Moon and this is made out of plasticine and it's kind of been around a little bit now and it's getting a bit bent in places. I use dressmaking pins here for the, the whiskers and the eyebrows which are kind of radio antennae and um, and that was uh, that was quite good for, for drawing from but I kind of wanted to make it a little bit better so I've, <laughs> I got a polystyrene ball and covered it in tissue paper papier-mâché um, so that, that, that what, what I was having trouble was with was with these kind of little um, rivets and, and all the plates coming together and knowing how to draw it from uh, different angles. I think from having drawn this so many times in my head now I can I've got much more uh, better appreciation of sort of spherical objects uh, and can draw them far more easily. And there's Dark Claw <laughs> driving the whole thing and here is a robo cat <laughs> which I'll come to later. And then now the mus have their little spaceships. This is one that I made. I made. Uh, I was playing around with casting as well at the time, so I made uh, little models out of plasticine and I cast them in um, in rubber moulds. I was going to have lots of them and paint them all different styles and things. I never got around to doing that. Now this again was to get the feel of the shape, which I kind of had in my head, but I still found difficult drawing from different angles. And also. Uh, it's kind of getting the, <laughs> the real feel for the whole thing. So this is another one that I made uh, again with all the little rivets uh, and the, the kind of metal plates that put the whole thing together just to be able to get the whole thing inside my head. So where did all these ideas come from? Well way 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 back I made this uh, story up called Victor and Computer Cat. This is the end paper here and this is a cat ship so the whole thing has been turned around from mouse to cats really. And, and this goes way back to probably about 1986, 87. This is my old computer that I had at the time of Amstrad 464. <laughs> and, um, and this is all I, I discovered I could draw on there bit by bit just by moving the left and right keys and go press and making a dot. So this is the computer cat and I printed it out and coloured it and stuck it on the page. And, and all the text is done in dot matrix. It's printed on a dot matrix printer. That's all you can get in those days. This is pre-laser printer. And then this was my kind of story. Basically, this is the little shed that I was working in at the time in the garden. Victor puts a cassette in his machine and he uh, gets his message. And this cat comes out of the screen, says, uh, please run this tape. Says, we need your help. So they blast off out of his shed. They go to space. You've got this black hole. Keep away from black hole. And they arrive at the planet of the cats. That's Dark Claw. It's turned around. It's the planet of the mice, really. It's the, all about the mice and the heroes. And uh, they said these mice are teasing the cats. <laughs> and so Victor says, you need to make a better mouse trap. So he uh, goes to the moon, gets his big piece of cheese, and sets the trap. He puts a big piece of cheese in front of the black hole. <laughs> Here are the rat ships and, and later on in Dark Claw then there are rats come in as well and their spaceships look like this. They're 
they're more ratty than mousy and um, they go, whoosh, go through the, there and get sucked into the black hole and out into the middle of next Tuesday and Victor's a hero and he goes back and he's allowed to keep the cat and his mum comes in and says oh Victor you've been saving the universe all night so was it a dream maybe not because look his cat is there all printed out in dot matrix now at the time my publishers just did not understand what it was about they didn't even have computers of their own in those days <laughs> and and they kept saying to me we don't get it you know the idea of a child having their own computer mm. <laughs> I said it's going to happen and they said no 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 so nobody wanted to publish that and in the end Victor did come out uh, with a story called Computer Cat which was completely different. So eventually the story did come out as Victor and the Computer Cat like he's reading his basic programming manual <laughs> this is uh, again the Amstrad CPC 464 and he likes cats but his mum's allergic and won't let him have one uh, which is rather like a story I'm writing at the moment. These things come around again and again. He has this good idea, he goes to his computer, he kind of programs a cat on the screen. Mum heard the meow. Victor says, there's a computer cat. It doesn't make me sneeze, says Mum, and we don't have to look after it. But you know, these little spaceships, I couldn't let them go. They just nagged away at, nagged away at me, nagged away at me, and I had to find a story that would allow me to do something with them. Many years later, I was taking my son to school, first day back at school, and everybody had Darth Maul backpacks, lunch boxes, <laughs> pencil cases. They'd all seen The Phantom Menace in the summer. And, uh, and I thought, oh, this, this, this character Darth Maul is so evil. And I came home and I sat there and I thought, why did they all want Darth Maul on their backpacks and not Jar Jar Binks <laughs> and and then I realized it's just basically um, Darth Maul is a really cool character and I thought what can I do now there's another character of mine in a series called the Ginger Ninja and he's the school bully he's called Tiddles so I thought what would happen if I took Tiddles the most evil cat in the school and made him the most evil cat in the universe <laughs> and I just started drawing and I put him in this thing up here this kind of cowl and, and it just came to me, he should have these lightning flashes because cats have stripes anyway. And, uh, and I just drew him and this tiny little drawing, the whole thing took five minutes and this drawing sat on my desk and Dark Claw kept looking at me and I think, what are you gonna do with me now? And, and this story was, it was really weird. I felt, I didn't really write it. It was like revealed to me, like somebody was beaming this story to me from over the other side of the universe. And yes, there are kind of Star Wars references and things in there, but it kind of took on a life of its own. And, uh, and if you watch the story channel over the next few weeks, months, however long it's gonna take, uh, it's probably gonna be about 18 episodes, I think. Um, it was a six book series, which will be in about three, episodes for each book um, you can find out a lot more and uh, i'll be doing lots of how to draw the characters and things like that on here so that's how it all came about and uh, i hope you can enjoy the story i hope you can follow enjoy following my dark claw series of stories and how to draw videos well, I hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, go over to my Storytime channel and watch the amazing first episode of Dark Claw. Or have a go at the mystery drawing. Either way, click and make sure you are subscribed to the Shoe Rainer Drawing channel for lots more videos about drawing illustration, stuff like that. And why not click and go and see my website and see what I get up to, writing books and stuff like that. In the meantime, <laughs> keep drawing, drawing, drawing. Practice, practice, practice. And I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye-bye.